you are looking at a massive pile of trash. But this isn't just any pile of trash. This is a very special type of pile of trash. And, uh, and it's a pile of trash made up of hardware. Uh, so what exactly is hardware? One of the ways we think about computers or one of the ways we get to find computers is that we could say computers are a combination of hardware and software. So these are really like two sides of the same coin. For a computer to work, it needs both hardware and it needs software. Hardware is any of the physical componentry that, that computers are made up of. So your monitor, your keyboard, the system unit or case, you know, the motherboard, uh, RAM, the mouse, speakers, the printer, the monitor, if I haven't already said that. All of that stuff is hardware. Hardware is anything, and I know this isn't computer hardware, but hardware is anything where if I was to pick it up, I could, first of all, I could actually physically pick it up, right? Here's my speaker. But if I picked it up, I know it's hardware, but then when I drop it, it makes a sound, right? You know, it's physical. It's physical in form. Software, on the other hand, is all of the instructions. So the very ba most basic way we can think about software is that software is all of the instructions that tell a computer what to do. So hardware is the physical componentry, all of the circuits and the switches and everything else that makes a computer work, the keyboard, the monitor, the mouse, the speakers, the printer, right? That's all the physical uh, componentry. And the software tells that physical componentry what to do. So which switches to go on and off and how to work, right? So software is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. Software is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. And hardware is any of the physical componentry, any of the physical componentry that makes up a computer. So we can divide a computer. We can start to understand and define computers based upon these two different things which come together to make a computer. We have the hardware and we have the software. And really, uh, you know, they are, they are very much like two sides of the same coin or like Laurel and Hardy or, or like, you know, Chip and Poncho on that old TV show. Or like, <laughs> I don't know, man, uh, what, what else goes together? You know, uh, there's that cat and that mouse in the cartoons, or there is beer and pretzels, or there's hot dog and bun, right? You need those two things for it to work. And, uh, you know, computers, it's the same way. Hardware and software are both needed to make the computer work. So this is one of the ways we understand computers. We break the computer up into the hardware componentry and the software. And uh, those two parts are needed for the computer to work. We could further break hardware up. That's what we're gonna be learning about this week, by the way, is the hardware componentry of the computer. So we're gonna be learning about the motherboard, RAM, buses, you know, um, and all the different physical componentry that goes into the computer and the different names and, you know, uh, how, how some of it how it all interacts together. That'd be the best way to say what we're going to be learning this week. And uh, we could further define hardware by whether a piece of hardware is like an input device, because we said computers do four things, right? Remember what the four things are that a computer does? Um, the acronym is IPOS. So the four things that a computer does is it, you know, input, process, output, storage, IPOS. So those are the four things a computer does. And we could further kind of define hardware components based upon whether they're an input, a processing, an output, or a storage component. So that's another way that we categorize, further categorize hardware componentry. And uh, so this device right here, which one do you think that would be? Would this be an input device, a processing device, an output device, or a storage device, right? Well, obviously this is an input device. It's a keyboard. It allows us to to input information into the computer. Likewise, your mouse is an input device. Your mouse would be an input device. What about your monitor? Which one would that be? I, P, O, or S? An input, a processing, an output, or a storage device. And uh, your monitor would be an output device. So we could further categorize hardware based upon whether or not it's an input, a processing, an output, or a storage device. And then in future chapters or in future weeks, 
we are going to learn about how software could further be categorized by whether or not it's system software or application software. So those are two categories, two basic categories of software. And then if it is system software, we further categorize system software based upon whether or not it's an operating system or utilities or drivers. So system software is made up of your OS, your utilities, your drivers. And then other people often include translators into that category, but we're going to leave that out. I will kind of give you the lowdown on translators when we talk about software, but uh, this is a basic schematic here for sort of categorizing the different things within a computer that come together to make a computer work. And uh, one of the ways that we just sort of break down this overall concept of computer into smaller chunks. So this overall thing, which is computer, it's actually a combination of hardware and software, which uh, you know, both of those two things are inextricably linked. They need each other. Hardware doesn't have any purpose without software, and software doesn't have any purpose without hardware. They need each other. And then we could further define hardware by whether or not it's an input component or a processing component or an output component or a storage component. So that's what we're going to be learning this week. You're going to understand what RAM is at the end of the week, and you're going to understand, uh, you know, like what expansion uh, slots are and expansion cards and what buses are and the motherboard and um, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to be learning this week. Uh -huh.